This video is for Yikes Bradley. It's their tier four Patreon request. We're doing opening 15 from one piece, more like 1,000 piece. Am I right? <laughs> Sorry, I had to do it. The song is We Go by Hiroshi Kitadani. I'm excited. Let's go. That is a proper introduction. Man, okay, the brass players are just screaming there. I assume they're real players. The only reason I bring it up is because we got chock so full like synth sounds there, kind of like a throwback, like 80s keyboard thing in the end there. And you never know how DAWs are because things can be so convincing now. But it doesn't matter. Let's just go with it. it I mean, it sounds like a real player. We can hit that one high note and the vibrato on it. That sounded pretty legit. Let's talk about why this is such a great intro, though. Um, There's no expense like left behind. Like It punches you in the face right away, and they're like, you're going to listen because the amount of energy we're about to give you and where we're going to travel. You can't not listen. <laughs> that construction is like the most important part because the bass and the drummer are playing one, two, one, two, and nice, big, and open, slow moving, and then you get... Ba -da, ba -da, ba -da, ba -da, on top of that big... Whatever, I can't sing it, but that big, huge brass motif on top... It just is commanding, right? Because there's only two things you're hearing. You're hearing the low foundation and you're hearing the screaming of that melody in the top. And then we go some other places, but it definitely grabs you. One, two, one, two, one, two. Now we're going to change shortly. And here's this. Hmm. And then immediately, boom, chaka, tuku, chaka, tuku. we're in a rock beat. The bass player, doo, 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 doo. we're digging in. And we have the syncopation of play, of rhythm play between the synth lines and the brass lines that kind of like, there's all this stuff kind of going back and forth between each other. So you, you can't, you can't not be drawn in by that because the, the design in the beginning was so deliberate. And then you just get smacked by that immediately. I, I really like, I know we're spending like two minutes on the opening. I'm sorry, but there's just a lot to talk about, which leads me to believe we're probably going to be packed full of stuff in the rest of the piece of music. Cause generally, generally things just don't open like pretty musically complicated and like saturated and then just like fizz a lot. We'll see though. See that play though. Did you hear the chord play there? Because we get the same sequence up, but then it resolves down. So the progression-wise, harmonically speaking, we're traveling through some great stuff as well. Oh, man, this is just... This is so good so far. Let's go. Okay, wow. That was... <laughs> So much happened just in the little I'm sorry to stop so early, but whatever, man. It's it's all good. Uh yeah, there's brass included within the verse. We get some ensemble hits going on, and then like suddenly the timbre of voice changes to include some guttural stuff too. This is just really great writing. Man, the way the guitars are used, this does not have a modern sound. I mean, it does, but it doesn't. I feel like it's almost like an 80s hairband. Just the way the players are, like, the way they're using harmonics and their note choices, what's going on. I really am enjoying the guitar work here. We oh, yeah, man. Key change? Mm. Again? Wow, okay. So, man, okay. In order to not make this a 35-minute video, I won't rewind for every little thing. Just know that during that segment of the verse, it felt like we had three, three key changes. We have so much interaction between uh, written backgrounds with horn lines. So, like, basically, when you orchestrate and write out a chart, like, 
Um, we're not just playing chords and singing here. We have so many written things within the band that are orchestrated out that just augment the listening experience. And also, if you're the musician, if you're the group of musicians playing this stuff, it's fun, man. You know, like, you know how much more of a great read it is to have this in front of you versus just a basic, you know, like chord progression. This is a lot better. Trust me. And I got to say, there's a lot of nods. I don't, you know what? I don't know when the song came out. This I don't really know anything about this anime other than it has a th over a thousand episodes. I don't know how old this is, but I feel there is so many nods to a a sound that we don't hear that much as often. I will say that a, a style of playing that we don't hear as often. And I'm just personally really appreciating it. So we'll, we'll say that. Okay. Back a couple seconds. Let's keep going here. <laughs> Yes. Oh my god, dude. We don't hear guitar solos like this anymore. Come on, man. That is amazing playing. Is this the best guitar feature in an anime opening? I mean, I don't know. I think it's the best one I've heard so far because I'm still rather new. I'm only like a year into this, man. This is, I'm still brand new in my journey. I, I'm sorry. We're going back. We need that again. Did you hear everything that was going on? The band is hot, man. The band is hot. <laughs> You know what I mean? No one played like this is not a popular way to play the guitar right now. I mean, sorry. How do I say this? I'm not. My words are leaving me. Uh, everyone wants to be Tim Henson right now. Tim's an amazing player. It's great. But the style that's like popular right now is like everything is harmonic, 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 but everything is like triplet thing. Like there's all these like insane chop, like really, really fast rhythm stuff versus like this is like it is a guttural in your face like rock solo man like it's spaced out i've got i can hear a little if it's got some blues tones to it like there's a, it's a little bit i don't know it's just different and i like it maybe i'm old that's probably it's probably that's probably it but just know that i'm not i'm not hating on anything new i appreciate everything all the all the polyphia um like imitators do and stuff like that it's cool but this just hits a little differently you know <laughs> Well, that section, you know, it's interesting because this suddenly like it has like a feel change. All like it almost feels like musical theater for a second because we got such a clean tone other than a little guttural stuff going on in the voice there. But you can hear like piano, like, you know, piano forte going on for a second there. We lose, not lose. We just quickly step away from the heavy distorted sound and it just alters everything that's going on. I don't know anything about One Piece. I don't know where in like the journey of the series when opening 15 is happening, but uh, it. I don't know if this relates to the characters at all, but I definitely feel like we we have such a dirty sound at the beginning, not dirty in a bad way, it's just a very more exposed clean sound here. So I don't know if that is relative to the show or just happens to be in the music, but let's keep going though. <laughs> Shine 
The nice call and response stuff, man. That's it's nothing like crazy, but it just adds so much. Mm. All right, now reflected in what I had said in the beginning, questioning the you know, it was like, is it da or is it real brass players? All these trumpet falls, they sound pretty real. So if it's not real players, I, I'd be really, really impressed with whatever uh, sound patches and software they're using because that it just sounds like screaming players at this point, and they've got extreme chops because damn, dude, damn. All right, keep going. I like what you did there. There you go. Really nice uh, turnaround at the end. Little tag there. But oh, uh, we get that twice, and then another halftime on it, and then but the that that that, and it resolves. Man, that I, oh, man. this has got to be in one of my top fives. It has to be. I think when I well, I'm, I'll say this now, but we'll see how it goes. Generally, at the end of every year, I do like you know songs that I like the most that I didn't react. I wouldn't be surprised if this one is on my top ten. That uh, we'll see. We'll see where we keep going. But right now. I, I can comfortably say that's probably my favorite guitar feature in any anime soundtrack that we've done so far. My name is Drumroll Tony. Catch me when I'm live on Twitch. Link for all the socials down in the video description below. Click the like button. Subscribe to the channel. YouTube thinks you should watch this video next. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you. Have a great day. Take it easy. Goodbye.